Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Saturday. 48 degrees first thing this morning. It'll hit 60 though. Yeah, a little bit chilly. I have, uh, have I gotten everybody? I got one more waterer to do and they need some feed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I am uh, rushing this morning because I am leaving for today and I'll be taking you along. So let me finish my chores and then off I go. I just found number two's new nesting spot. How many eggs you got in there, number two? You know, I just put some eggs of yours in the incubator last night. And I, I really would have liked to have put more. I only had three. So I've got to fit, yeah. What was that? Okay. Well, now at least I know where to check. But as soon as I take your eggs, then you find a new spot to lay them. Do I have to lock you up in the coop for a few days? But I believe number two alone. I've made it to my destination. Now I gotta track down uh, the people I'm meeting and yeah, cool. I got to the library, I tracked down my first uh, channel that I wanted to track down. BW Family Farm, you all know Ben and Andrea. How y'all doing? And we're doing a little trade today. We are. We're doing we are already, a parking lot swap out Yeah. It. Yeah, we already did it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, the six Moran's chicks that I showed you, black copper eight. Eight, 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 eight of them. Yeah. Eight of them. I'm not sure if you know. <laughs> uh, I traded that with uh, for a little food. I'll show you that in a minute. But here's oh, the wow. here's the egg. Look You're not getting the egg. green ones, but you got all the genetics there that yeah. if you hatch yeah. your brown eggs, you'll get some green yes. ones. Yeah. We've already gotten whiting through globes from you, and I can't remember all the all the different varieties we've already gotten from you. But yeah. We've gotten several from you in the past, but we didn't have any of we didn't have the black copper moran at that time. Yeah. And I got lucky. Not all Morans lay that dark. Some yeah. lines are yeah. So it's, yeah, those uh, are dark. It's and I like the speckles too. Oh yeah. Those are so we yeah, I tracked them down here in Conway. You're only what, 45, 45 minutes. Right? Yeah. Plant sale, book signing. We'll get to all that in a minute. But uh, yeah, yeah, you should see our eggs that you're getting now because, like we said, a lot of them came from you. Uh, we're getting five gallons. I, I watch every video. Yeah. I love the egg. You got to do more egg hauls. Yeah, and they're like, it's a rainbow. We even got one this morning that was lavender. We're getting olive and blue. And brown. And we even got one that was I love that. That's Sometimes so they put that yeah, bloom on it. Yeah. That makes it really cool. One thing I talked to you about was one thing I, I got uh, some lake ones. Just the white eggs. Yeah. And the white eggs really make the blues and greens and the other oh, yeah. colors pop out. Yes. So, yeah. Did you get those from us or did you get those from else? No, I got those trackers. Okay. We've done some trading over the last few years, so. Oh yeah. Um, Lane and Emily's 4-H. Yeah. I use them with white and blue and yeah. I've got some really cool Easter eggs yeah. Lane and Mint egg. I and, think that's what we've got. Yeah. And uh, Hybrid Bigger, that's how I'm getting these really huge eggs yeah. too. Yeah. We're getting are, huge ones too. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of double yolkers, and it's just—it's exciting. I love gathering eggs. And even more rainbow colors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. All right. Um, and everybody knows that, but you're doing it all. You've got a uh, ranch with uh, rotational grazing, grass-fed beef. Yep. Uh, pasture pigs. Yep. Uh, you're gonna do meat chickens on a big scale. You've already done the Salatin style right. tractors, right. but now you're doing the schooner. How yes. many? We just built a uh, 32 by 38 foot schooner, and we offloaded. When we bought the meat chickens, we purchased 600, but we had a really rough start to the uh, season. You know, because that cold snap that came through. Oh yeah. And uh, we lost probably anywhere from 50 to 75. So we're, we're guessing we have about 500 left. Yeah. And, well, then, and you converted a, like a trailer? Uh, a greenhouse. We, we well, this a, one, this oh, one's oh, yeah. for the brooder. Yes, for the brooder. Yeah. 
we took a like 18 wheeler box trailer it's like 8 by 28 yep. and um, so we breeded them we like Ben said we just we've got about 500 left we just moved them a couple days ago into a greenhouse frame that, that we've converted into a huge chicken they call it prairie skin we're going to pull it around our pasture and fertilize it's the so greenhouse so. frame metal frame but 32 it, by 32 40. by 40 Dude, roughly. that's bigger than my house <laughs> but uh <laughs> it's it's on i made two metal skids to drag it through the field and uh, we're just going to drag it throughout the field fertilizing our fertilizing our pasture and at the same time raising our you know our meat birds out on on grass where they get the bugs in the grass and then we also feed the non-gmo feed yeah. and then we're going to have all of them processed at a usda processing plant turn around and uh, turn around and sell them yeah yeah. You have a website we do. for future sales, yeah. perhaps? Oh, yeah. VWFamilyFarm.com. Um, that's where we post our meat for sale. And we'll be stocked back up in June and hopefully ready to ship to you guys chicken and pork. And then shortly after that, turkey. And we'll stock back up on beef this fall. So probably about June, we'll start shipping again because we'll have product back in stock. And that's what we brought Jeff today. Some yes. and beef and I'll some be sausage. giving some reviews on that. Yes. Oh yeah. Hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry I can't get chicken from you guys. Yeah. I'm, sure I'm kind of self-sufficient yeah. on that <laughs> part. But that's the beef great. and the and the pork. Yeah. That's all. Awesome. And you do eggs. Yes. Uh, and the meat chicken you just went big on that. Turkeys. We're gonna get 150 broad-breasted white turkeys like in June. So, yeah. so we'll have all turkeys. All the good foods. Yep. Yes. And then we're gathering roughly about a five-gallon bucket of eggs a day. Yeah. About um, 50 dozen a week. And people can get those locally. Yes. We've actually got them at our house all the time. We take them to a store in Searcy, Good Measure. And we've recently started taking them to Squizzitos. It's an all over oil store in Cabot. And they have a website. Oh, yeah. But then also, if you uh, go to our website and order meat, if you are local, she does home delivery within about an hour uh, yeah. from our house. She'll deliver it straight to your house. Right. Oh, yeah. So stock up, get yeah. eggs and meat and yeah. yeah. Yep. And All right. We used to do a little bit of dairy. Yes. We may get back to milking at some point, but we've been kind of just consumed with getting this meat business going. We've got enough so, going on yeah. to keep up everything. Yes. Yeah. So that may be in the works coming soon. One of the hardest working families on YouTube. Well, and thank your you. kids are taking the ACT test today. Yes. Yep. That's why they're not. Yeah, good luck on that. Yes. All right, go check out their channel. We'll meet up again someday. And now I'm standing in line for... Wait for it. Yes, because I follow everyone. Stand up. Um, no, Dad follows them. Everyone's kidding. What's up, stranger? Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Good. We'll take a book. Books? Yeah. All right. Oh, there's still a What do I owe you? Uh, 20 bucks. It's all right. This is a So people are coming from all We've got someone from Maine that came in, came to Florida, Virginia. And this is another YouTube channel, Whispering Willow Farm. Whispering Willow Farm. And they're selling lots of plant starts. Yep, I do not mind days like this. Uh, it's an hour and a half here. It'll be an hour and a half home. But I got to meet up with some great folks, uh, Ben and Andrea, and uh, stop and chat for a second there with Roots and Refuge, Jess and Maya. Got my book signed. and Oh, that was cool. That was very cool. All right, now I got to go home. I made it home with goodies. I uh, got several things of ground beef from VW Family Farm and some mild pork sausage 
and yeah i love it i've been to their place a couple times you know i've seen their uh their pigs and their cows and the whole thing and this is just awesome uh local arkansas um pasture raised uh they rotational graze they've been to polyface farm uh joel salatin and they're uh starting that out uh you know grass fed and then um yeah raising their pigs on pasture um it, awesome they've got chicken uh, meat chicken coming up they're just getting started just getting started offering their meat products to the uh to the locals and and they were shipping there for a while until they sold out so the be looking for them uh they mentioned june uh restock a, a bunch of stuff and i know they've got their meat chickens going so yeah awesome 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 to trade some baby chicks and hopefully they also sell their eggs so hopefully that you know uh, gives them a little bit more of a rainbow i wish i had i wish i had more copper morons uh that had hatched in this batch but i'll just have to hook up with them again in the future and then it was a double bonus day because jess from Roots and Refuge. There was a book signing there at the library. And so, yeah, I got uh, got my book signed. Some of you are jealous, I know. Some of you are jealous of the meat. I apologize for that. But yes, uh, as if you guys don't know, but Roots and Refuge, Jess has a book on gardening. It's only been out uh, maybe a month. Um, I pre-ordered it and I had it uh, waiting for me so that was so cool we didn't get to do a shindig because of the world being crazy uh, but it was great that I could uh, go up there and chat with them for a moment and you saw that video so yes I have my the first time gardener growing vegetables all the know-how and encouragement you need to grow and fall in love with your brand new food garden so lots of great tips. I've only thumbed through it so far. I'm gonna have to read it. Uh, just an inspiring, uh, an inspiring day for me. VW Family Farm uh, does their thing. They're oh man, I uh, one of the hardest working families on YouTube. And uh, Jess and Maya and their family uh, is just all great. And they're here in Arkansas. Arkansas is wonderful. I'm just saying. So yeah, I had a great day in Conway. Okay, just got home. First thing I'm going to do is an egg check. <laughs> well, I'm trying to check flock number two here. And we've got a bit of a situation, don't we, 2.1? Yep, you are sitting on all the eggs, and you don't want me to have them, do you? Do you yeah. Are you going to draw blood this time? Because I can go put on gloves. But, okay. And how many you got under there? A lot? No. Yeah, whoever's laughing back there, that ain't funny. Oh, and the first one I pull out is a fake egg. That's a fake egg. Okay. Ow. You've got a bunch of them. There's one. There's two. Uh-oh. Looks like there was a cracked one on there there. See, that's what happens when you guys all squeeze into the same nest box. All right, I gotta put the camera down and grab them. Thanks for watching. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, thanks to this YouTube community that I can meet and barter and uh, be inspired by and just chit chat with some lovely, lovely folks. So thanks for that opportunity and take her easy, everybody.